maybe books are in your mind correlated to the school but there are absolute opposite things I wanted to divide this concept of school and books I'm gonna tell now every benefit of reading books if you're a complete hater of reading some bullshit that school gives to you let's start with a simple fact that there are no successful people that don't read books Alex Hermosi let's take him I don't know how much he reads but maybe it's one book per week okay now Iman Gaji he was reading one book in a week as a 14 year old teenager bro where he is now he's like 22 or 23 I don't know and his net worth is 30 million dollar and this shit is so much correlated because we need instant knowledge we need instant learning there are monks their main goal is to be like 100% mindful meditate like three or four hours per day contemplating reading books maybe we need a little bit of monk style of just constant learning successful businessmen cannot maintain the business without knowledge just imagine if we take one people but he makes different choices he can now start reading five pages per day before he goes to sleep for like 15 years this same one who doesn't read and instead of reading he just sits on instagram scroll tiktok or whatever for 15 years every single day before he goes to sleep where he is now and where this guy is this guy who, who's been reading has got so much knowledge i don't know how much books but maybe there are hundreds and this guy he's not even staying on the same place he's degrading because if others are progressing others are stagnating they're going down and while the reading guy already knows what the sales is how to talk to them in a way that they're gonna give you feedback they're gonna give you support well this guy knows how to touch his penis it's a tiny benefits that reading books can give you for instance i've read let's see oh uh, here's the note like eat the frog shit that i put i read 19 books partly all of them are self-improvement or related stuff let's imagine that you're like complete hater of reading books you're like anti-reader let's figure out what we have for you okay bro if the idea of sitting or laying on the bed and reading some shit is so embarrassing for you there are so many ways that you can get the knowledge start watching self-help or related to this stuff videos instead of entertainment i know that you know self-masturbation of watching hundreds of videos or how to wake up and do the thing when you lie on a bed and you do nothing that's already an improvement when you just entertain yourself you get like zero information you get zero useful information from just from like watching mr beast there's a bigger thing listening to podcasts or audiobooks i don't like listening to audiobooks because i find it so interesting to read in your phone as an ebook i find it so good that it's, it's almost always available but podcasts are your escape how much time you have from like waiting in a line or sitting in a bus if you need to and there's like half an hour distance you can read so much pages while going there instead of listening to basic music music is another topic to talk about for sure there are millions of podcasts let's break down my favorite that i listen on the regular basis huberman lab for sure but he talks a lot about body brain cognitive function when you like listen to the fifth or sixth podcast you're becoming tired of just getting knowledge on body but if your priority is body then that's absolutely perfect uh, next we have chris williamson aka modern wisdom amazing podcast tons of interesting guests millionaires philanthropes the most popular is with jordan pearson they're talking about philosophy the third one is the diary of a ceo it's even bigger bro they have like six or seven million subs jordan pearson alex hermosi million dollar businessmen deep dive with ali abdal ali abdal as a person is kind of interesting for me he has this idea of working with joy and pleasure next guy is mark manson he just started publishing podcasts 40 or 50 minutes length also awesome guy the last one popped in my mind it's mike thurston first things thirst okay his podcast has started popping off only now he has also amazing podcasts recently listened to mike thurston with iman gaji that was awesome because this was first podcast with him when he talks about his you know childhood how he started making business getting clients and all this shit very interesting recommend you watch it but what i do myself and i want you to do start reading books whatever price you will pay listening to podcasts and audiobooks 
it's so cool like you get constant knowledge but always be on your phone is not a good thing either if every successful people that you see is reading book maybe that's the core thing of the success what you can do is to make it satisfying pick the the most interesting one you choose your books on your own experience you go to school and you wanted this guy to give you like homework because you haven't done it the teacher will mark you f if you if you don't show up with homework and you need to persuade this guy to give you the fucking homework what's gonna help you with this Dale Carnegie books are just fucking basics of every self-improvement book just imagine that it was the first self-improvement writer author he was writing his books like 100 years ago when there was no thing about self-improvement they all was bothering about just staying alive going on the work and defend your hometown you need to choose the most interesting books that are related to your life i'm now reading the seven habits of highly successful people you know it's kind of the cliche basic book but on the contrary it's so fucking interesting it's like deep philosophic topics changing your mindset changing your beliefs and all this deep shit and recently there was a book essentialism that is about focusing on core essential priorities if you want to provide for your family you work on your business if you see yourself as an athlete you're going to the gym you're competing in martial arts etc etc that's how you choose your books that's an important part you need to read five minutes per day i know that it sounds embarrassing like how can i read five minutes per day what if i want more knowledge and i will read 30 minutes where you will slip up almost 100 percent first day okay you've read five minutes next day your ego inflates and you think that no bro i'm gonna read 30 minutes today and you read 30 minutes and the next day you've understood that you don't have the habit of reading you haven't built this mindset or paradigm that you're now a reader and you want to read like one hour a day that's not how it works you need to stack up the five minute sessions on the 15th day you understand that yes i'm now a reader i can scale a bit the amount of reading so now it's 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes and soon you will see yourself binge reading whenever time you have it's like when i play this fucking fortnite two minute breaks before the game i just lay on the bed and read for this time three or four pages fucking perfect that's what we want stack up the little sessions soon you're gonna read hours you will want to read more but you, you will find that there are a lot of things that you need to do and you're upset of not reading so much that's how you start choose the most interesting book start reading whenever the price will be let's set our goals now for this year i've said for myself that i'm gonna read the book every single day for 30 minutes you know it's one book in two weeks you need to set something for you it's like start reading today five minutes and you will stack it up if the self-help books you think that they are lame or you're not prepared for them you can start from fiction you know the interesting book 1984 uh, george orwell awesome book as a fiction you can start from it from scratch and you will see sometime later you're reading 15 books per year and that's fucking awesome compared to zero books per year but 100 hours of tiktok videos let's see how further we go and remember you don't have to feel comfortable about it just keep going